All right. No rest, <laughs> no rest for the weary. Let's have some cheese. Let's relax. Let's try to get into form. We got a lot of work to do. We do. We're gonna do a stream. We should just get to it. No screwing around, people. Let's just get locked and loaded into some sort of game and, and some sort of magic here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. All right, what should we play? Should we play something with guns? Should we try to help people? Let's try to figure something out on these games. Bionic Commando. Jeez, does that sound epic. All right. Let's get locked and loaded into some Bionic Commando. Look at that private soldier. Shitty dudes have kidnapped your wife. You gotta get her back. All right, here we go. Jeez, that's a slow helicopter, come on. Okay. All right. Anytime, I'm ready. Here we go. Dropping in the battle, deployed, trying to figure shit out here. And that's all we can do on these video games. They deploy us into something and we can bitch and moan Whatever we get deployed into something into life, or we can just roll up our sleeves, pick ourselves. Ooh, I just died already? What the hell just happened there? All right. That anarchist dog is, w that anarchist dog is wondering if this was a suburban commando tie-in. That movie with Hulk Hogan, I don't know. I, I never saw that movie. As much as I loved Hulk Hogan, and I did. Okay. He doesn't jump. He just shoots, and he's got the claw, so... Nice. The claw works, though. We don't need the jump when we have a claw like this. Ooh, Christopher Lloyd was in Suburban Commando, too. He's not in this game, though. That's what we got to focus in on. No Hulk Hogan or Christopher Lloyd yet on the game. I don't know. I shouldn't assume. I mean, Hulk Hogan can come flying out of anywhere. How are you, that anarchist dog? Do you want some cheese? We have nice cheese. Take some pickles. It's Monday. I got the war paint on. I'm just trying to get into a good vibe. I hope you're in a good vibe. Take the pickles, take some of the cheese. Oh, you're gonna have a Trisket, okay. And I think they're about right here. And it looks like they have like little multigrain in them. You're gonna like that. That multigrain's gonna be good for you. You'll enjoy that. All right, here we go. Got our lock and load and kick ass now on Bionic Suburban Commando. No fear. All right, I'm gonna go into this hut. It could be loaded with kids with grenades in their mouths. No, it's a big computer. All right. Communication wire, tapping. This is MA1, I've been waiting for you. Many of our agents have already shit the bed. I'll need your underwear and a big brown paper bag. Your success depends on it. Well, that's kind of weird. I'm just trying to save my fucking wife here, man. That's all I want to do. And these guys are trying to get me to put my underwear in a brown paper bag. All right, war is hell, people, let's go. Let's forget about all our enemies, people that wanna see us fail, whether it be on Twitch or in the workspace. Oh, did I get hit by somebody? I guess I did. All right, I gotta be a little bit more careful, dropping down. There we go, ugh, he got me again. God, my guy's a pussy. That's it. Fuck Bionic Commando. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just say I beat that one. I, I felt confident. I felt like I beat enough on, on the game to consider that a beaten game. So we've already beaten one game tonight. Bionic Commando. Take some cheese. Relax. Relax. Look at this dog. If you're stressed out, we got a beautiful dog for you. One for one. 
Just focus on dancing Nathan. Incredible, beautiful dog. Just wants to make people happy. Look at that shy one with the hair over one eye. All right, let's get back to Castlevania. These assholes, they fucked my wife. They kidnapped her. They tried to fuck this cat, but the cat was too strong. Let's lock and load. All right. Castlevania is one of the toughest games for the Nintendo. It came out during the summer of 1988, which was a cruel one for this country, as we saw George Bush Sr. voted in as president. It's a beautiful game, incredible soundtrack, the action's hot, especially when you have a boner. All right, so locked and loaded, we're inside the mansion, and we just gotta get this asshole that took our wife. He's a shitty Bitcoin billionaire, like an Elon Musk. Real shady dude. If you just tuned in, we've already beaten Bionic Commando. That's right, we're, we've already celebrated. So take some cheese and enjoy us. It's a magical night. Take some of the little pickles, tiny pickles. All right, we're gonna go two for two here and we're gonna beat the living shit out of Castlevania. Has to be done. These bastards fucked my cat, this beautiful cat red right here. And we gotta just lock and load and to get in some payback here. I hope you guys are having a good week. It's been all downhill. Oh, thanks for the bits, Oni Spike. Thank you. I had a rough weekend. My dad called. My dad called, and the first thing out of his mouth was, What are you, sleeping? Wake up! What are you doing right now? Yeah, it was really, it was really a rough weekend. Why don't you ask me how I am, Dad? If I'm feeling good. What are you, sleeping? So I created this room for my dad. It's the pain cave. That's my dad. I know, I should have told my dad I'm in a different time zone. But look at him. Scary, scary man. Look at little Bobby. I'll move the thumb sucker. That's me. That's me right there. That's just beautiful young Bobby, full of hope. He took me up to Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Look how pissed he is. All right? I want you to see that. He's very angry. Look into those eyes. <sighs> he doesn't use military time. He doesn't even want to talk about the military anymore. He just wants to act it out on his loving kids. That's what he wants to do at the military. His loving son. And this is a safe room for me to vent about my dad. Two Cute Brothers says that my dad reminds him of the wrestler Ox Baker. Ugh. He's a scary dude. A very scary dude. And he, he called me. He called me last Friday night. And he's like, what are you, sleeping? And it's just, it went all downhill from there. He said he was going to get vaccinated last Thursday, and now he says it's in the middle of May, and he's not sure if he's going to do it now. I think he doesn't want me to come back to the West Coast, I mean the East Coast from the West Coast. I live in California. Whew. All right, a couple of ladies fighting over who used the military time pun first. A lot of action in the chat room. But my dad put me in a bad mood over the weekend. It was brutal. And it culminated Saturday night. I tried to do a Twitch. I should take it down. It's still up. But I did a Twitch. And one person was watching. And when that one person was watching, which was fine, I was very excited for that person. That one person was asking me how come I wasn't doing other videos. Like, why aren't you doing more videos at Amazon? for your series Quiet Desperation. I'm like, well, I'm doing a video right now. What about this video? And and I cried. There was a lot of pain. 
I, I ran into my room. I ran into my pain cave. This is Tori Amos. Silent all these years. I always turn to Tori when life's overwhelming. And it was. Not gonna lie, life was very overwhelming this weekend. And it culminated with me rage destroying, deleting the Discord. So I deleted the Discord, so you're gonna have to sign up again. There's a new Discord. And there it is. Please sign up. The link is in the chat room. I deleted the old one. Why? Why did Rob delete the old Discord? Well, he was sad. He didn't even want to twitch anymore. He was in a fetal position. And he didn't think anybody cared about him. Thank you, cheeky girl, saying that I handled it so well when the person was um, asking why was it I doing other videos when I was doing a video for them. It hurt. I went into a fetal position. I was surrounded by nobody. I had nobody to turn to. Like this video game, I was surrounded by my fucking enemies. If I went on Facebook and I started crying about the fact that I was alone out in California, a lot of my enemies would have been drinking my tears. They would have been celebrating. Oh, look. He's suffering in California. That's going to make my life better. Oh, look. Timor32 is now following. Yay. But yeah. I don't want to post emotional things on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. My enemies will drink my tears. So I just deleted the Discord. The one that I'm putting up, sign up for it now. Get in at ground level again. I, I, I promise I'll try not to delete this one. Oh, thank you, Two Cute Brothers. I'm a big fan of yours, Rob. Thank you. That means a lot. I wish you were here last Saturday night when somebody asked if I could make other videos rather than the ones I was currently making for them. I wish you were there, two cute brothers, in that room, that chat room, Saturday night. You could have cheered me up. Things would have been different. Maybe I would have not rage burnt the Discord, which I'm sorry about. We have a new Discord now. It's going to be as exciting, I swear. I'm just a human boy. I'm living by myself with this dirty, horny cat. A couple of roommates that I met out here, but a lot of pain, you know, this, this old man back in Massachusetts calling me and being like, are you awake? Are you sleeping? What are you doing out there, Rob? Are you even making money being creative? Vietnam was hell, and it was hell on my dad, and I, I just, I don't know what that's, ah, just take some cheese. There's nice cheese. Thank you for the Rob emojis, that anarchist dog, and we're just going to rebuild, and we're going to do that by, by dying on Castlevania. Shit, not a good sign. No, I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to get stronger, and that's all we can do. We can shine. I mean, we can go up on Facebook and we can post sad shit and our friends are going to come out of the woodwork and they'll say nice stuff in the comments. Hang in there. It'll all work out. But your enemies are also watching those Facebook comments and posts. And they get really excited when they see that you're crying. They love drinking your tears. So I always put up overly happy posts on Facebook. Pictures of my cat. Touching my cat. All right, I made the jump that time. A lot of progress. All right, rocking and rolling on Castlevania. Moving forward. Thank you for the Rob emojis. All right. Ah, oh, shit, the Medusa heads. 
look like ex-girlfriends coming at you and you just got to ignore them. You got to ignore their two in the morning shitpost DMs. You got to just keep going in life. It's not an easy road, man. People are going to judge you from the side sidelines. Oh, shh. People are judging me right now. I'm sorry, I gotta take out these Medusa heads. I always die on this part because I mutter too much bullshit to you, the viewer. And I can't do that. I gotta lock into victory right now. But yeah. You gotta lock down. You gotta ignore the outer voices. You gotta ignore the haters. Your haters are out there quietly waiting for you to post emotional shit on Facebook. And I don't. I posted a picture of this cat and I'm like, I'm having the best weekend ever. Even though I wasn't. Even though I was in this pain cave thinking about my dad being alone in California. <laughs> Losing my friend China. My kidney disease dark days but we got to get back on the video game horse because maybe video games will I don't know help you get out of a depression it's helping me oh wow daddy O's here thank you daddy O. take some cheese please take some cheese we're trying to get into some good vibes my dad called me over the weekend. He did. It's true. It's true. And he doesn't respect my creative career. We're listening to Tori Amos. Silent all these years. Because I've been silent all these years. And I've let my dad just make fun of my, my career. My creative career. All right. Got to get back in the gaming. I can't think about the negative Nancy's or my dad. I got to think about the positives. There, oh, I didn't get touched there. Son of a bitch. All right. We have no lives, but I think we can make a miracle here. I really do. In spite of the haters, in spite of my dad, that's not a stock photo. This is my dad. Lou Patillo. He was a Vietnam vet. That's me. Look, that's me right there. Baby Bobby. That's me. And that's my dad. And he'd bring us up to Old Orchard Beach, Maine. And there'd be a lot of darkness. Okay, I, gotta, I, I can't think about that. This is heavy shit. This is my dad, Lou Patillo. I talked about him a lot. He was a Vietnam vet. He was a narcissist. It's not a picture taken from Google. This is my, ugh. Killing me, you guys. I'm trying to vent about my pain. And nobody believes that's my dad now? I mean, what kind of friends are you? You're supposed to be supporting me. And it's like, I finally reveal my dad on this show. This guy. Who's, who's who's a Vietnam vet and he, he used to scream at me and he would throw me on the table and, and, and I was brave. I was brave and I finally wanted to show you guys a picture and now you guys are saying it was taken from Google. All right. I'm just going to focus on the game and not the people who are accusing me of having a fake dad. I, I, I Yuck. All right, that's my real dad. Vietnam vet. He worked at the Piccadilly Pub. That's the shirt he has on right there. He worked at GE. All right, I got to focus on the game. When I think about my dad, I do bad. Those blocks remind you of the color of my dad's shirt. Oh, wow, cheeky girl. Some great observations tonight, man. It's beautiful. But now I have to look at my dad again. He was so angry at me when I quit Little League Baseball. 
but he made me hate it. He coached my Little League baseball team and drafted kids he hated the dads of in high school. Like, he drafted children and the fathers he knew in high school, and he didn't get along with them. One of them was Mike Janoulis. I'll say the name. And my dad drafted his son. And then one day, my dad came out to the mound. This guy, he came out to the mound in Daisy Duke shorts and a Coors in the Golden Can. And he's like, from now on, everybody call this kid Clams because you keep digging in your asshole for Clams. And that's what my dad said to Jonathan. And everybody started calling him Clams. And poor Jonathan. Like, he wasn't digging in his asshole. But my dad hated his dad in high school, and that's what my dad would do to you. And just think about what he used to do to me. You know? Pain. This man. But there were good times, too. Like, we're on a ride here. Old Orchard Beach, Maine. Some sort of tilt-a-whirl. So, you know, there was love, too. It's not all one-sided. All right, I got to play Castlevania. I got to concentrate. I want to do good for you guys. Every time I do bad on a video game, I lose, like, two viewers. And then I start getting more depressed. Like, man, if I did better on that video game, I'd be successful as a Twitch streamer. Maybe I'll get into double digits on viewers. Maybe I'll meet a friend in real life from Twitch. I don't know. They could all be dreams. Ah, come on. Yes. Thank you, Daddy-O. Daddy-O just said that I was the man. That meant the world. A lot of people don't think I'm the man. A lot of people think I'm a man-child. Like my father. My father thinks I'm a loser because I'm in my mid-40s, unemployed, just hiding in a room with a homeless cat named Red, this one. And, you know, he's right. He's right, but I have dreams. You know, I want to get a kidney transplant. I have polycystic kidney disease. I got polycystic kidney disease from the wife he married. He knocked up a woman who had polycystic kidney disease. My mom, who was a saint, Patty. And I got the kidney disease. And she died of it. My grandmother died of it. I, oh, man. My guy just died. He had like a little heart attack there or something. But... Yeah, I mean, it, it was just something that I have the kidney disease. I'd like to get a transplant someday, maybe, hopefully. Oh, daddy, I was saying I worked at Amazon and been able to make a great series of videos. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of videos. In the sun, in the sun, we will milk him in the sun. He's a boy cow, he needs milk. I got a lovely YouTube channel. In the sun. Gonna go to Orange Julius and get a hot dog. Come on. Hot dogs and applesauce. Come on. Hot dogs and applesauce. Yay. Hot dogs and applesauce. Go. My name is Rob. I'm from Boston. You have amazing eyes. Like, they're electric. It's like... It's just hard being a creative type, man. I mean, I don't make too much money off the videos. It's hard being an artist, you know. And this man, my father, thinks I'm a failure at being an artist, so... That's fine. Oh, look. There's junk mail in the chat room. I was right on top of it. Oh, that anarchist dog is saying they like my last album with the song Drawing Up Circles on it. That's beautiful. I wish my dad liked that song. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My dad likes me a little bit, I like him. I'm joking a little bit, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm gonna play some boxing right now and kick some motherfucker's ass. Glass Joe, you piece of shit, needle dick, scumbag, slap nuts. You're gonna get your asshole handed to you, why? Because my dad called me this weekend and he... Ah, forget it, forget it. Here we go, come on.
off to a great start. My body feels good. A lot of support from you guys in the chat room in spite of me having an awful weekend. Boom! Just like that. I'm sorry I deleted the Discord. Sign up for the new one and do some shit. And we're gonna beat the shit out of this guy. This guy's a trust fund artist. His mom and dad were actors. Brought him to a good college to study acting. Meanwhile, my dad, this guy, he didn't want me to be an artist. He wanted me to knock up a girl and talk shit about her every time she... Oh, hold on. I gotta beat the shit out of this guy. I'm doing too many things at once. Gotta focus on just kicking the shit out of this guy and a little bit less on my dad. Boom. Just like that. No, you're not kicked out of my Discord. Here. Hello, Snappy Bakes. I, I, I rage deleted the Discord because nobody was posting anything in it. Like, you didn't post anything, Daddy O. You, you signed up. Snappy Bakes and Cheeky Girl thought they were locked out of the Discord, too. I wouldn't lock anybody out. I just deleted it because I thought nobody cared Saturday night. It was only one person watching the Twitch stream, and that one person was asking why wasn't I making these other videos. And I'm like, but I'm giving you free entertainment now. I deleted it. I mean, what did I really delete, guys, if we want to be honest about it? You know, I mean, you guys posted in there once. I mean... People weren't really posting too much in there. The people who were posting in me in there were I don't know. I, I wanted more posts. I mean look at look at it now. Look at the new Discord. It has art by Snappy Bakes. Hold on, I have to beat the shit out of this guy first. Oh, thank you. I, I like the war paint too. I mean it's war tonight. You know, my dad called me over the weekend. It was a rough phone call. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. Jesus, this guy's putting it on. Putting on all stops. Fuck, man. You're the second guy on the game. Be easier. Ah, oh, Jesus. This guy's like Mike Tyson now. I'm trying to talk to you guys. I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to explain what happened when I rage deleted the Twitch. I mean, I'm sorry. The, the, the Discord. Oh wow, Snappy Bakes is gonna make her own P. Mooney puppet. You guys remember P. Mooney? P. Mooney was my kindergarten puppet. My teacher brought in Miss Typert. She brought P. Mooney in to school, and he had a he had a song. It's bright and gay. It's blue and red. And you put your hand up his ass. It was incredible. Daddy-O is saying people will eventually post post on the on the Discord and, and, and whatnot. I don't know. I hope. I hope they do. I mean, you should go up there now because Snappy Bakes made some great P. Mooney art. All right, we got to fight this guy. I'm sorry. There's people that are watching the fight. All right, let me get into this. I just wish that more people would post on the Discord. Maybe this is a great chance to start over. And instead of dwelling on me deleting a Discord that nobody was using, you know, now I have a fresh one. And we can get off to a fresh start tonight. I have a little section where you guys can introduce yourself. That wasn't on the old one. I have emojis on the new one. I have emojis of P. Mooney on the new one. Well, Cheeky Girl, you were using it. You were using it to make fun of the stream Saturday night with the guy asking, how come you're not doing other videos? That was the one post I got all weekend on it. Was making fun of the one damn quote that turned me into fucking Elliot Smith hiding in my room. I had to make this room on Sunday. Oh, Snappy Bakes wrote on the new intro section on the new one. See, we got a new one. I don't know why people need to dwell on the old Discord. It was lame. It was people trying to out me on what music I used on this show. Oh, by the way, it's this song. 
people were... It, there, was, there was just a negative vibe on the old Discord. The new one's exciting. It has red emojis. There wasn't red emojis on the old one. Alright, I gotta concentrate. This guy's a killer. Oh, nice! daddy -O saw the drawing of P. Mooney that Snappy Bakes made. See? The new Discord's making people twice as happy. Oh, shit. All this movement to get your ass kicked. Nope. He's killing me. He's... Oh, oh. Get out of here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. He won't give up. Nice. I survived the storm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nova Zulu in the house. So, yeah. Just head over to the new Discord. It's twice as exciting. And let's forget that I rage destroyed the old Discord. Oh shit. Just like this guy's rage destroying me. I mean, I, I, it was one of the worst weekends ever. And I came here Saturday night to Twitch, very excited, just wanting to stream. And there was one person watching and that one person could have just said something positive. Just one positive thing. Yeah, and they didn't. They were like, why aren't you making these other videos you used to make that you were much more successful at making? And I cried. I cried all night and into Sunday. I didn't feel like a champion, that's for sure. I was sad. <sighs> but we have a new Discord. Look, I put up the link, start posting so when I get off... We can have a post party on the Discord tonight. It'll be great. I'll even bring Dancing Nathan, the dog. Look at this dog. This dog's probably dead now. But this dog lived. <sighs> I love it. Dancing Nathan, and look at his sister. She's so shy with the hair over one eyes. But yeah. I had a painful weekend. My dad called this dad and and yeah, dancing Nathan's sister's emo. But this my dad called Dirty Lou Patillo and he could have just been appreciative that I'm trying to make a living in in California in spite of my friend China dying. And last week being the anniversary of China dying. My friend my beautiful friend China that's a pin to commemorate her. We got her into the WWE Hall of Fame. So it, it was a rough week last week, guys. It was a rough week. My corner guy is fucking awful. Giving me the worst advice I've ever had. Here we go. But I love you guys. Thanks for coming tonight. We have a new Discord. Sign up. A lot of positive energy. And let's beat the shit out of this guy together. Let's make a new day. Maybe if I'm in a real good mood, I'll delete the uh, Twitch stream from Saturday night. Because I was really sad. It was only 30 minutes long. And only one person watching. And you can watch all the hope melt from my face. I know a lot of people like to see that. Going from me having a big smile. To me being like this I got a $40,000 smile thank you orthodontus and I couldn't even show it Saturday because I wanted a bunch of you guys to be on my twitch Saturday night I was gonna cheer up from my painful phone call with my dad this dad that anarchist dog says that she joined and it was over I had three people say that. It's fine. I wish you were there. Maybe you would have made things better for me. But look here. This is New York. This was New York, people. Where are the towers? There's the Empire State Building. 
There is the Statue of Liberty. Let's worry about how Nintendo's fucking us over in inside jobs. Alright? Let's not worry about me. And the worst Twitch ever you can see from Saturday night. Should I keep the Twitch up from Saturday night? I'm asking you guys. As a reminder of how dark it can get. Hashtag, where are the towers? Because I'm thinking about deleting that... That Twitch. Oh, Snappy Bake says I should put it on my Patreon. Should I open up a Patreon and ask for money from there? I mean, if I'm not begging enough for people to watch my Twitch, should I go on my Patreon and be like, Hi, I'm Rapatillo. Please give me money. Or please just keep watching me. Two cute brothers is saying, keep the Twitch up from Saturday. It's a chapter in my journey. It's a sad chapter. Maybe I'll keep it up. Snappy Bakes would give me a dollar a month if I did Patreon. Thank you. Maybe I will. I, I, it's just, it's hard enough for me to want to do a Twitch every week. It's like I'm in the mood now to do Twitch. In a slightly good mood. And then I don't know, I wake up the next day and I don't want to do a Twitch anymore and I get sad. Daddy-O says I should keep it because... Shindig just put up a big happy smiley face in the middle of a very big war in the ring. <laughs> Snappy Bakes makes two Mixel prank call shows per week. So you, sh sh you guys should be noticing that too and stuff because if you don't, she's gonna get sad too and she'll have to come to my pain room. Look at, look at I made this. This is my dad. He called me last week and he asked if I was awake because he thinks I'm a bum. He thinks I'm some big Lebowski bum. Out in, out in California and, and all I do all day is smoke weed. And he's right. And what's wrong with that? Some people should live a life of luxury. All right. That anarchist dog is saying that my dad's the one who's still asleep. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's the one who's still sober too. I'm not. I'm California stoned or California sober. All right, we got to fight King Hippo. We got to wake up my dad. We got to bring my dad to California this summer. We'll talk about that more after this fight. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, here we go. I gotta hit him when his mouth's open. Ugh. He knocked me down, but I also noticed the sound was down for the video game, so it gives me a chance to put that up while I'm on the mat. Ah! Ah! Not my fight, not my fight. I'm thinking about my dad. I gotta get back, get my head in the match. Hold on. Shit, he's moving. Oh, he has my number. Come on, just punch me. Oh man, I just got my ass kicked on that one. Yeah, Nova Zulu noticed that Mario's the ref. I just got my asshole handed. Jesus Christ. I should have been more stoned. That was a problem. Here we go. Yeah, I beat my dad on Turbo Graphics, a guy who looked like my dad on a China Warrior, but I can't beat the guy who looks like my dad on this game. All right. Let's kick this guy's ass. That was a fluke. I'm back. I was depressed last weekend. 
I rage destroyed the Discord, which I rebuilt. But you can rebuild anything. I'm gonna show you right now by kicking this guy's ass. Oh shit. I'm gonna show you guys right now by kicking this guy's ass that you can rebuild anything. So if I lose, it means you can't rebuild anything. Shit! Nice! We did it. Hell yeah. He ain't getting up. Count the prick out. We're champions. God damn it, just like that. Hell yeah. Champions. This was the game last Saturday night that I gave up on because there was only one person watching and that person was asking why I wasn't making other videos they liked. But I made a new Discord. Go over there and sign up tonight and you're getting in at the ground level of Bitcoin. I swear I won't rage destroy this one. All right. Great Panther. This guy's a warrior. I got to concentrate, so don't put anything heavy in the chat room right now. I got to concentrate, guys. This guy's the real deal. He's a former champion. And he uses magic. He's protected by magic. Oh, it's a war. I'm gonna knock him down. I think. My heart's in the right place. Hitting him like a mosquito, like a dirty mosquito. I did it! Hell yeah! Thank you, Shindig. I'm the champ. Dream Stadium math class, Snappy Bakes. Oh shit. This guy's a warrior. Oh shit, magic. Yeah! Kicking ass! Stay down or you're gonna have brain damage. Anybody see UFC Saturday night? It was crazy. <sighs> the bell saved him. I have the worst corner guy in the business. Look at him. He's talking about the guy's father. His father was a great magician. Don't be charmed by his magic punches. What the fuck kind of advice is that for a corner guy? Tell me how to beat this clown. Son of a bitch. All right, round two. I gotta move like a windshield wiper, Tommy Gunn. You know, stick and move, stick and move, Tommy, home team. Yo, Adrian, here we go. Oh shit, magic. He's down. Snappy Bakes says I deserve a talking tiger in my corner. Maybe. Here we go. Two warriors. Oh shit, magic. Yeah! Hell yeah, count him out. If he gets up, he's gonna be drinking hot dogs through a straw. So much brain damage, I hate to see this. One, two, three, four. That's how you do it. Whooped his ass. I whooped his ass. Oh, daddy -o, that's some good advice. You should be my corner guy. Mash the buttons to gain health when my opponent's down. Thank you.
Get on that new Discord, people. We're going to have a huge party tonight. It's going to be like we never left, like I never rage quit the Discord Saturday night. Here's the big fight against my father. I have not beaten my father yet. <sighs> All right, don't distract me, guys. This is the big one. Oh my god, it looks just like my dad. There's my dad. And there's this guy. Same guy. <sighs> I could beat him. Oh shit. War! Come on, Robert, come on! Knock him down! Ah, oh, totally off with the timing. Totally off. Too much at stake. Ah, oh, I'm down already by two. Come on, Rob! This guy fucked your cat! a comeback stay down oh, here we go my father back up oh, fuck. damn it damn it ah oh, god damn it my father laughs at me ah oh. I felt good. I get too hyped up when I have to fight my dad. This guy, Lupatillo, I just had to fight him and punch out. It was heavy. Oh my God. All right. Let's get back on the horse. Take some cheese. Relax. Let's get back on the horse. All right. We have to fight this guy again. Twice my age and weight class. We gotta do it though. Two warriors back in the ring. Great Panther, whose father was a great magician. My corner guy tells me a lot about this guy. My corner guy should be corner guying me instead of talking about the other guy's corner. Why don't you go suck their dick then, corner guy? I'm trying to fight a match here. All right, feeling good right now, guys. The weed's hitting me. The emojis are hitting me in the chat room, or lack of. I'm feeling really good. Like, come on. That's not accidental. Look at this shit. Throw up some cat emojis. Look alive out there. You are alive, right? Let's do this shit. There they are, Snappy Bakes, right there. That anarchist dog, Shindig, I'm looking between punches. Notice the skills, looking between punches, guys? Shindig again? Appreciate. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got too distracted by the emojis and that's what happens. It can disappear so quickly in this game. Mike Tyson's punch out gives it to you and it takes it away immediately. Jesus, Jesus. Less noticing the emojis. See, his father was a great magician. My corner guy loves this guy. Meanwhile, what about your fighter? What about me? Give me advice. All right, let's do this. This is boxing. I got a little bit more energy. Oh, he uses dirty magic. I don't like dirty magic, guys. I don't. I'm going on record. Yeah! 
All right, we're back in this. We're back in this. Stay down. Stay down. You're a dumb shit. I got $15 bills. Come on. Kicking ass right now. Thank you for the love. Yeah! Two for two. Doing good. Feeling good. Son of a bitch. Oh, he's back up. He's back up. Stay down. Oh, it's a war. Oh shit, magic. Yeah, did it again. Hell yeah, I'm gonna fight my dad again. Maybe I'll finally beat my dad. This guy, Lou Patillo. All right, let's go to the cheese room. Let's just have some fun here. Oh my god, this is intense. Alright, gotta fight my dad. Oh, Oni Spike likes the Hotline Miami music. We'll take some cheese. Just having a good time tonight. All right, it's time to fight my dad. <sighs> we know the history. I just gotta go into this. All right, all right. Oh, he's a warrior. He's a warrior. All right. I'm into it. Oh, he avoided the punch. Oh, shit. <sighs> what a war. What a fucking war. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, come on, Rob. And there's hope! There's hope! There's still fucking hope! Alright, come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. He's just your father. He's just your father. Hell of a story. Hell of a story. We don't know what's gonna happen. Come on, Robert. That was so close. Oh, so close. God damn it. I get closer every time. Closer every time. Ah. Game over. We came so close. What a war. We'll get them someday. Ah. After a war like that, go to the cheese room. Have some cheese. Wow. My dad's a warrior. You know? He's a goddamn warrior. Kick my ass. Take some tiny pickles. Thank you, Katie.
We're going to get some Trader Joe's fig and olive crisps to go with this next week. Just have a good time. It's Monday night. Look at this dog dancing. Dancing Nathan. Look at him. Isn't that incredible? Miracles all around us. Don't sleep on the tiny dog with the hair over one eye. Very emotional. Very emotional. Get on this Discord. Get on the Discord. Sign up tonight. You'll be on the Discord on its very first night since I rage deleted the last Discord. You guys want to play a game about McDonald's? Do you? Can you answer the question? Does anybody want to play some fucking game about McDonald's? Ooh, wah! All right. Well, I want to. I want to play a game about McDonald's. I don't know about you guys. I bet you guys are like, hey, he's lying. <laughs> Last Thread wants to see a game about McDonald's. Well, I have a game about McDonald's. You're about to shit yourself. Look at this. McKids. You're about to get a McBoner in your Mc sweatpants. Here we go. I'm ready. Made by Virgin Games for Ronald McDonald. All right. This game is about cheese. It's McDonald's. It doesn't get any cheesier than this shit. All right. We're in our McTents with Mc. Well, I'm not gonna say it. We're young. We're beautiful young kids. Look at us. Just reading some campfire stories. Ronald was showing off his magic bag. Yeah, he was. At the picnic when all of a sudden, ice showed up and brought Ronald back to his country. Ronald's from America. I'm a dumbass. Help, help. The Hamburglar has run off with my magic bag. A lot of talk about Ronald's bag. Like McBrokeback right here. McBrokeback Mountain. Ronald's the whitest. He's from... <laughs> He's from Florida. If you come back to my house with four cards, I will show you how to get to Birdie's house. Can somebody remember four cards? Ronald fucking McDonald down at Mar Largo Bay, the golf place with the Donster. Katie's gonna try to remember. All right. This is weird. <laughs> this is pretty artsy. Keep searching for my puzzle cards. All right, Ronald. <laughs> Get away from me. What the fuck is this shit? I, okay, here we go. I'm searching, dude. This is Mick creepy as fuck. But we'll keep going. Here we go. What the f All right. I got to get all the M's. I got to get the Mick <laughs> The Mick deals up here on the Mick trampoline. All right. What does the other button do? Nothing. The A button Mick fucking sucks. All right. Did they show the cards yet? No, we have to find the cards, cheeky girl. There's four cards that Ronald wants us to find. Ah. Oh. oh, I have to pick up the McBlocks and kill the McTurtles. It's a lot of work. Alright, keep your eyes peeled for cards. Or Ronald's gonna McFuck us. Oh, there's one, there's one. Ah. How do you get that one under Jesus? Oh, that's McTricky over there. I, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to get that card. Huh? Jesus, he puts these in the McTuffest places. Oh, I'm dead. I gotta forget about these cards. I need four cards. All right, here we go. Let's get back on the McHorse and try again. <laughs> yeah, the arrows are like the drive through arrows. Look at the arrows. Beautiful eye, Snappy Bakes. That's incredible to pick up on. 
Or maybe I'm just really stoned and handing out compliments right now. Rob's the compliment fairy. Alright, I'm gonna kill this McSnail with my McFucking hands. Ah, I missed the McFuck. Alright. How do I get the card underneath? What do I do? Do I go on a spinner thing? What is this? How do I get that fucking card? Ah, oh, it's driving me me cr There it- Yes! We got the first card! Ah. Oh, and it flipped the world upside down. What a McTrip. Oh, shit. Who's this McGopher over here? What's your name? Oh, fuck. This thing's gonna kick my McAss. There we go. Run, run. Oh, now they're W's instead of M's. That's very trippy. Good observation, Curl Birdad. <laughs> Good Birdad. Oh, I'm McFucking stoned right now. I gotta play this McFucking game. Oh, okay. Are we, is there any other card down there? Ooh. All right, let's keep going. I like the Ronald McDonald game. Ooh. How do we get in there? That's like a door. Uh, how do we open the McFucking door over there? Do 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 do. I'm loving it, <laughs> Daddy O. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, we're being sent McFucking back. Okay, I got to avoid the gopher. This game is McFucking tough. Don't make any mistakes about it. Oh, okay. Ah! I think I'm gonna just commit some McSuicide right here so I can get right side up. I don't know what the hell to do right here. Jesus. This game is tough as fucking jerky, man. I don't... I, fuck, man. I'm having a McFucking rage fit right now. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. One more time. Let's ignore my dad. Gave me a very negative phone call over the weekend, but... I'm back in the game now. We need positive energy. We need P. Mooney. Beautiful kindergarten puppet, full of hope. I gotta think about P. Mooney, this puppet. I love P. Mooney. If any of you guys are getting sick of P. Mooney, you can leave the fucking chat room right now. Alright. Snappy Bakes is saying that P. Mooney's all the good she wants to see in the world is the good that she wants to see, the only good, is this blind puppet who sees more than us. Let's get back on the McHorse. Talk to Ronald McFucking Donald again and figure out this game. Ronald was showing off his magic bag. <laughs> that gets me every time. When all of a sudden, here we go. Help, help! The Hamburglar has taken my magic bag! I'm Nick depressed! Here we go. Search the levels of Ronald's clubhouse and get back the cards and he'll show you how to get the Birdie's house. Wasn't Birdie the little... did the breakfast for McDonald's and shit? I'd like to meet the Birdie. The McBirdster. Let's do this shit. These sons of bitches fucked Ronald. <laughs> these guys fucked Ronald. <laughs> we gotta stop these monsters. I don't, yeah. Good observation, Shindig. I, I don't like the whole idea of Ronald being around the kids. This was like in the mid-80s where they still let Ronald around kids. I'm gonna kill this snail. <laughs> Hell yeah, I killed that snail. <laughs> Having a good time. Alright. Serious. Let's do this. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna make a McFucking run for it. Ooh. I did something. High five! All right. I love the McDonald's game. All right. Let's do this one now. If you see a McCard, let me know. A lot of traps. Keep your eyes peeled. Don't get too high. Thank you for the emotes, Daddy O. The I don't I don't like this gopher. What do you guys think of the gopher? Anybody? Nobody? All right. I'll jump the little fucker. Yeah! Oh, there's the card. There's the card. That's what Ronald McDonald wants. He wants that card up there. Fuck, Rob. Jump. Here we go. Yes, I got the first card for Ronald. That's huge, guys. That's what Ronald McDonald wanted. He wanted that card. I feel productive now. Everybody should rejoice. We did what they wanted us to do. And then we drowned. Rejoice, hell yeah. All right, I gotta get the card again. I gotta avoid the gopher. I gotta do a lot of shit right now. We gotta get his virgin card, his V card. <laughs> Shindig. <laughs> I'd like to take Ronald's virginity. Ronald, the duck. No, Ronald McDonald, not the duck. Ugh. Fuck this Ronald. There's not enough Ronald McDonald cameos in the game. Here. Let's just get some cheese. Relax. Like, let's not rush things. Like, nobody was helping me play that fucking Ronald McDonald game. That's, that's the big red flag. Like, why don't you guys help me? I need help on these Ronald McDonald games, and you guys are all sitting on the fucking sidelines judging me in the chat room. Like my dad. Like Lou Patillo would, ch would judge me. You know? This guy. No, that's the cat. This guy. <laughs> this guy right here. Lou would judge. He would. It's true. It's true. Judge away, Lou Patillo. Judge all night. All right. Starting to get way too high. Like Oliver Stone, the Doors movie. Starting to see lizards and Indians in my peripheral. All right. Here we go. There's no better way to sober up than video games. They're God's cold shower. Let's play some video games. Let's play fucking Garfield, man. Wow. This should be good. Cheeky girls excited about Garfield. Snappy Bake says she confuses the movie JFK with the Doors movie, which it happens. I mean, he somehow managed to get the weird desert scenes into the beginning of the JFK movie, too. I think he, 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 he did both movies on one long take. Here we go. Let's play the Garfield game. All right, I can make the fucker jump. He can dance. Let's do some cool shit together. 
All right, I got some coffee. Garfield's tweaking out. Garfield needs some K. I don't recognize any of these characters from Garfield's world. What am I gonna do with the spider? They haven't given me, like, a weapon or anything yet. Ah, Did Garfield find crack? I don't... Oh, use your cat paws. Jump on them? Alright, I guess I... They want you to just take the punches in this game. This game is just about taking self-abuse. Is this all I'm doing is walking through this guy's dressing room? This feng shui bullshit? While these animals all tee off on me? I'm not gonna let all these shitty little animals tee off on Garfield. I love cats. Ugh. I don't know what the hell to do. He, he doesn't punch. Make him smile. I can make him get on all fours. He almost got killed by a worm. That's it, I beat the game? Did I beat the Garfield game? Eh. I beat the Garfield game. If you just tuned in, we just beat Garfield for the 8-bit Nintendo. We should celebrate. Hell yeah. That's another win. We beat Bionic Commando tonight. We beat Garfield tonight. <laughs> We're beating a lot of games. You should celebrate with us in the new Discord. I rage destroyed the other Discord Saturday night. Because I'm fucking crazy. So, but there's a new Discord. It's a good one. It's a true Discord. It's the best one. It has P. Mooney art in there. P. Mooney, my kindergarten puppet. I am a wonder, I'm a wee, I am no. Let's get back. Let's play some fucking video games. Ooh, ah! All right. Let's play some Joust. Guys, remember Joust? You're on top of an ostrich, and you have to fly. And you have to knock other people off their ostriches. Cheeky girl loves Joust. Nice, we just killed one dude on his ostrich. We just killed two dudes on his ostrich. And we gotta get all the eggs that these dudes... L because the eggs hatch and they become new dudes on ostriches. And just like that, we beat Joust. We just beat another game tonight. Let's do another round. Show you guys it wasn't a fluke. Alright, wave two. More shitty dudes on ostriches. And we gotta knock them the fuck off. Oh shit. Damn it! <sighs> Come on! These dudes fucked my cat. Nice. One down. Four to go. Three to go. I'm not good at math. When I'm stoned and doing math while I'm playing a video game. Maybe I'm talking too much. Maybe I shouldn't talk at all. Just knock the... Yeah! <laughs> Kicking ass at Joust, man. This is the happiest you've seen me in weeks. All right. I love you, Snappy Bakes. I love all of you. Regardless of my mood swings and manic depression and chronic kidney disease from polycystic kidney disease and the loss of China and my mom and being out on the West Coast kind of lonely sometimes. Remember, my love is always endearing and will always be there. At the end of the day, once, well, at the end of the day, once I've rage destroyed another discord, I'll be there in the ashes to start a new one with you guys. That will be even better. Snappy Bakes doesn't trust anyone who doesn't have mood swings. Well, that's great. You can put all your faith in me. There's that awful pterodactyl. I killed the pterodactyl. That's awesome. Oh, that's a sick emoji, Daddy-O. Hold on, let me kill this guy. Yes. 
I gotta get his eggs. Hold on, I gotta get the dude's eggs. And then I can talk a little bit. Yes! Kicking ass. Snappy Bakes cries wet tears at her retail job. That sounds like a Countin' Crows song. She cries tears at her retail job around here. Everybody knows your name around here. We all look the same. Around here, we talk just like lions, but we sacrifice like lambs. All right. Doing pretty good on the Joust game while we're talking about Counting Crows, guys. Multi-talent. Oh, I gotta get that egg from that dude. Okay, gotta get that egg. Gotta get that egg. Yeah! Kicking ass. Cheeky girl works retail too. I would if I didn't get fired from Amazon doing retail. I just went in the lava. Ugh, just like that. But but we beat Joust. You gotta give me that. There wasn't anything more we were gonna fucking figure out on Joust, guys. So let's celebrate. Take some cheese. Let's relax. Take some tiny pickles. I'll be honest, I've had about 14, 15 retail jobs. Every one of them sucked ass. I worked at Blockbuster Video up in uh, Beverly, Massachusetts. West Beverly, it was a Blockbuster Video and I worked there for two weeks. I did, it's true, it's true. And I quit when they had me working after 11 and they wanted me to clean the floors with a vacuum cleaner. And I was like, I don't do that. You get cleaners. I was a privileged white boy from Danvers, Massachusetts. I don't vacuum. Mother didn't tell me I had to vacuum here. And I left Blockbuster Video. It drove me nuts. I remember one day I was working at the register and the guy next to me got a question. What video would you recommend? Encino Man or Mission Impossible 2? And the guy's like, well, what genre are you in the mood for? And the guy's like, a comedy? Well, you should pick Encino Man then mind-numbing conversations all day. Fucking retail. Retail, retail. I think the fact that I didn't vacuum at Blockbuster led to my total fall. Complete failure in life. I could have been a real champion up in Danvers, Massachusetts. Instead, what did I do? Honestly, guys, what did I do? I in sang the, the sun, cops. In the sun, we will milk him in the sun. He's a boy cow and he's milking. Let us milk him in the sun. Gonna go to Orange Julius and get a hot dog. Come on. Hot dogs and applesauce. Come on. Hot dogs. What did I really do? Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Rogue Steamer. <laughs> I was Robbie Rhodes Steamer in Boston. This first song is called I Put a Baby in You. It's about my girlfriend. All right, good times here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. No, I did not know that overseas Encino Man is known as California Man. It would not surprise me. I lived in Massachusetts 80% of my life, 90% really. And I had never been to California before I came out here with China. 
and everything they said about California is true. I turned into the Big Lebowski. I lost sense of a schedule. I lost sense of everything. Except a beautiful Pasadena feeding cat. In some countries, Snappy Bake says, Encino Man is titled Rob Patillo. <laughs> Pretty much. I watched New Year's last year at Polly Shore's guest house right above the comedy store. It was incredible. One of the best New Year's of my life. I had done enough shows at the comedy store. And I had attracted enough people and stuff that they let me go up to Polly Shore's house and I got to watch some fireworks. New Year's. A couple months before the coronavirus, I had made so much progress. And then the virus took it away and they shut down the comedy store. Daddy O is saying that wished he could live in a place like me. Well, I'm not going to lie. Pasadena, Pasadena, beautiful Pasadena. It is mystical. And I thank China for bringing me out here. The ninth wonder of the world, WWE champion, women's champion, three-time intercontinental champion. God bless China. Let's play some double dragon. And look, these guys took our fucking wife. These guys took my fucking wife. These fucking sons of bitches. Thank you, Shindig. Pasadena loves you too. Pasadena loves you. But these guys, they took my fucking wife. We, get, we gotta get these guys. <laughs> we, we gotta kick some ass on Double Dragon. Did you fuck my wife? Did you fuck my wife? Please visit the new Discord. We have an exciting new Discord that I will not rage quit on and destroy and delete. This one will be full of new vibes. Go there right now. Put up endearing sentences finally on the Discord. So if I ever want to delete it, it will make me cry because such emotional poise will be in there. I'm going to kick their asses, Shindig. These guys took my fucking wife they took her they took my f my wife all right doing pretty good right now too oh every time i brag i get my asshole handed to me but not there i'm gonna take this barrel of cat shit and on your head motherfucker having a lot of fun right now oh Snappy Bakes put up some sweetness on the new Discord. Thank you. It means the world. A lot of you guys have been incredible tonight. Oni Spike, Cheeky Girl, Snappy Bakes, Shindig, Daddy O, That Anarchist Dog, Two Cute Brothers, Could Burl Dad. If I left your name out, Nova Zulu or anybody, let me know. Because all you make it happen. Especially Nova Zulu Gaming. When kicking the shit out of women on Double Dragon, remember Nova Zulu Gaming. The best in gaming on the internet. Here we go. Locked and loaded. And going in here now. And we're about to fight a dude who looks like my dad. We haven't lost a life yet. We're doing pretty good. We're coasting, as the gamers like to put it. Uh-oh, here comes my dad, though. What's going to happen here? Lou Patillo. <laughs> oh! I beat my dad! Ooh, oh, that's great. That puts me on cloud nine. My dad. <laughs> yeah, two cute brothers. Could Burl Dad? I gotta pause. I gotta pause because we need to watch some air. Robbing this place, some motherfucking no mother 
motherfucking shinobi. Look at the mother. That's me right there. Check it out. I'm the motherfucking shinobius. I'm the shinobius. You're the shinobius. I'm the shinobius. That means the top of the fucking world. Shinobi, yeah, look at him kicking ass. I got him. Look at the shinobius. Come on, the shinobius. Shinobi. All right, let's get back. These guys, they took my fucking wife, and they're not going to get away with it. We're on level two now. Oh, how that shithead get behind me? Son of a bitch. That wasn't fair. All right. Oh, daddy -o, thank you for that epic king wizard. He actually called me yesterday. I got to get back to him. I think now that I'm in a slightly better mood, I'll do that. I'll call him tomorrow. You guys should note that. Aaron the King Wizard, who is the Shinobius, and I haven't talked to in over a year. I used to do a bunch of YouTube videos with Aaron. Oh, that guy just hit me with a firecracker. I get really in love with talking to people, and then all of a sudden I gotta do stupid shit. It reminds me of work. It's like I really fall in love with talking with you guys, and then all of a sudden somebody's coming up with a bat. I'm trying to knock my nuts off. I gotta get right back into it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I hadn't heard from Aaron in over a year. The last time was before the coronavirus. And I filmed some videos of him playing video games on my YouTube page. Which, if you go to the links of this Twitch, you can find my YouTube page, which is quite epic. Almost 13,000 subscribers. And a lot of hilarious videos with Aaron. Ooh, I avoided the firecracker. A lot of momentum right now. I gotta tell you, the energy in this room is electrifying. So, ooh, she got a whip. Gotta move a little quicker. Come on, Robert. There you go, kick her ass. Yeah! Nice, I'm gonna get the whip too. Now I have the whip. Ho, 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 ho. Bruce Willis there. A little die-hard humor for all the people who like that sort of shit. Could Burl Dad with the reptilian emojis right here only on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. We're on level two of a 48-story duplex. Which, if you were to rent out one room in scenic Los Angeles, would probably cost you $1,200. And that doesn't include a parking space. But we're going to get to the top of it. Because these bastards, they took my fucking wife. Wah! And we got to make... Oh, Making Snappy Bake's wet face. Alright, here we go. We're at the top of this... Oh, that dude had a sweet... Oh, that was a good move. Now we got the upper hand, maybe. Yes! 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 Don't look down, motherfucker! Oh. He didn't fall all the way. Well, this is kind of awkward. Well, you come up here. I'm not coming down there. Oh, he's just going to cheap shot me if I go down there. I have the higher ground. Come up here. Oh, my time's gonna run out. Fuck. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. We didn't even lose a life. I'm not just eye candy. <laughs> it's not over. We had to go to the lower ground. All right. Right off the bat, he's throwing a knife at me. Making a lot of progress here. This is Double Dragon Level 3 here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. Kicking ass right now. Keeping negative thoughts at a minimal. I'm just trying to focus on the positives like that lobster roll. I had about three weeks ago. I had an incredible lobster roll in Southern California, which very rare. I'm from Massachusetts. I like a good, beautiful lobster roll, and it's just hard to get, but 
my friend brought me down, KJ, and I had one. So I'm going to focus on that. I'm not going to focus on the phone call from my old man last weekend, Tori Amos. Lobster rolls are better than Big Macs. That is the truth, Daddy-O. I love the lobster rolls in Southern California because they mix it with a tangier mayo sauce. Well, that's a great question. How do I like my lobster roll? Well, I like it with a tangy little mayo sauce. Like this. And it's got... It's got some chives, some chives or some shit on top. And I like the roll to be brioche. I like a good brioche roll or I'm going to make a scene. You're going to try to put me in a little hot dog roll. I'll have your establishment shut the fuck down. Call up the Food and Drug Administration. I know people there. You think I do those protests for fun? so I could meet federal agents so I could shut down stupid lobster roll establishments in Southern California. All right. Just kicked the shit out of him and told you a very uplifting story. So let's move it forward. Kicking ass and taking numbers here on the Rob Patillo Entertainment System. Ooh, wah! Go to the new Discord. I swear I won't rage destroy this discord. We can have a new relationship. <laughs> could could Burrow Dad's feeling uplifted knowing that bad lobster roll places are being shut down by me, Bob Patillo, and federal agents. How did I meet these federal agents? Well, out at the protests. In the sun, in the sun, I came out to the protests, dressed He's as a boy, boy cow. Daddy. And I made a lot of new friends. Gonna go to Orange Julius and get a hot dog. Come on. Made a lot of new friends. And now I can shut down illegal lobster roll places. All right. Long tangent. Here we go. Let's get back. Thank you for the Robbie Moats last thread. Here, have some cheese. Take some tiny pickles and some cheese. That's all I can give you. And little crackers. Red the cat is on my bed right now. Red the cat is on my bed. All right. Let's just keep going. Let's kick some ass for once at fucking Double Dragon for the 8-bit Nintendo, shall we? The marijuana's kicking in. We can stay up all night. You know you guys have sick days. You stored up for the robster. You're my children, and... It's the least I can do is show you level three of Double Dragon. It's hot, huh? All right. Let's just keep going then. Just trying to figure out things with my flock. Remember, if you guys play your cards right, this summer we can be at this compound up in the hills. We can be here together. My little Lon Lon Ranch Forbidians. Oh no, Snappy Bakes has a cast on her foot. Well, thinking about you right now as I beat the shit out of these suckers for you, Snappy Bakes. Okay, here's the big jump. Are you ready? If we make this jump, we're going to have a lot of fucking momentum in this game. They would even interrupt ESPN. Here we go. All right. Yes! Yes! Huge, huge. Oh, everything you're seeing right now is huge. Everything. This is all good shit. Oh, that was huge. We absolutely kicked some ass on Double Dragon. That felt really good right there. We made the jump. And then two dudes try to tag team us. And then we turn the tides. Hell yeah. Alright, we're about to face the end boss.
to level three. Thank you for the love, Snappy Bakes. Thank you for the love, everybody. Here. Oh, shit. It gets harder. As Sublime would say. Me and my girl, we got a relationship. I love her so much, but she treats me like shit. On lockdown like a penitentiary. All right, here we go. Gotta face my dad, two of them. <sighs> Boom. Doing time and the living's easy. Oh shit, they're slap happy. They're snappy right now, they're slappy bakes. Shit, they're kicking our ass. Uh, okay. Nice, we got some momentum. Gotta stick and move. These guys are huge. Stick and move. Oh. Okay, I got hit. I'm back. Nice! Got some dirty shots in. Getting some shots in. It's an even game right now. If I make it out of this with one life loss, it's still a win. Don't ever forget that. Nice! Getting my shots in. They're staying down longer now. I think I'm cutting off the oxygen to their brains. I think we're winning. Why are they in green jean shorts? Don't ask. God, these guys can take a pounding. I respect that, but I still have to demolish them. Nice! One's down! One's down. His brother should be upset now. His twin brother's dead. How long can he literally last by himself? Stay down. Stay down. Be with your brother. Be like your brother. Stay down. Yes. 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 And we win in the cave. That's awesome. We just made it to the next round of Double Dragon. Let's celebrate. Take some cheese. That was huge. We're doing good shit right now, man. We're on level four of Double Dragon. Come on. What, can, what else can I do for you tonight? All right. Take some tiny pickles. Take some cheese. It gets harder. Er. Sublime. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's bring it all back home. All right. Whew. Nice snappy bakes. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit's coming down, people. Ah. Oh, this is tough as hell now. This is tough as hell. They're not fucking around now, people. This these are some tough levels right here. <sighs> You'll get to level 4, daddy. Oh, you just take your time with it. Oh my god, this is great though. They're throwing some serious shit at us. What is behind this door? It's probably my dad, right? It's always my dad. Secret, it's always my dad. All right, spoiler. Here we go. Are those zippers? <laughs> they were. Oh, what's behind that door? Do I, oh, oh. It's two karate dudes. Okay, I got the jump on them though. Nice! Oh shit, they're coming back, they're coming back. But we're not gonna let them come back. We're not gonna let them come back. We're gonna get them, we're gonna kick them from behind. Boom! Alright. A life for a life. Okay, we're starting right back here. Starting right back here. Kicking ass, kicking ass. A life for a life. <laughs> they have those Ramones haircuts. <laughs> Don't make me laugh when I'm violent. Jesus. 
Kicking ass, kicking ass. Oh, the atmosphere right now. Oh, we got one, we got one. Boom, 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 boom. Knee punches to the head. He's gonna be eating hot dogs through a straw. Brain damage, we did it. Do we go in this cave? What do we do? Oh shit, more ice, more ice. Nice, avoiding the ice. We have a fighting chance. Oh, it's repeating. It's repeating. Ah. Okay, we had to go in the door. God damn it. All right, we'll learn for next time. Here we go. Here we go. We can't dwell. Tom Brady wouldn't dwell. We gotta be warriors. All right. Okay, right there. We gotta go in there. Let me go in there. Come on, let me go in. Ah. Okay, I must be missing something. Oh, okay, I gotta beat those guys, then go in there. God damn it. I gotta beat it on just two energy. Oh shit, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to be one with the force. Oh crap. They're doing better karate than before. They want revenge. Robin, do it, come on. Oh shit, that was close. That was close. Ah. Uh, we did it though. We were warriors. They can't take that away from us. We made it pretty damn deep into Double Dragon. And by the way, if you didn't know, we already beat Joust. We already beat Bionic Commando, I felt like. And I felt like in a way we beat Double Dragon because of the friends we made along the way. Hell yeah. Visit the Discord. It's a new one. I didn't rage destroy it yet. Let's play one more. One more for the kids. Russian attack. That's right. We're going into Russia. I love the soundtrack on this one. And I also beat the score. I deleted it. That's right, Daddy O. <laughs> that was funny. I love that. I'm going to cry about it later on, but right now I'm laughing at everything because I'm in an emotional high. All right. Oh. I got a knife. That's all they're giving me is a fucking knife. I got a. Oh. Okay. Let me focus in on this. I wasn't ready yet. I was too excited about you guys making me laugh like daddy -o. That's your fault. I died there. Thank you. And um, I'm going to lock into it again. Hold on. All right. War is hell. Take two. Are you a cop trying to stop Russian jaywalkers? Curve bird, dad. That's hilarious. Yes, I am. I'm just a cop in Russia trying to stop jaywalkers. It probably sound like more Sylvester Stallone. Yo, yo, I'm a, I'm a cop in Russia. I'm trying to stop jaywalkers. All right, let me move the Nova Zulu out of the way of these guys coming at me really fast. And let's kick ass on Russian attack right here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. These sons of bitches, they took my fucking wife. They all die. Fucking Swiss Army knife shots to the nuts. Ah! Alright. We're back in it, though. No rest for the weary. Gonna kick ass right now. Russian attack. Stabbing people in their nuts. Because these people killed my wife and they fucked my cat. They took P. Mooney. You're right. I got distracted by that, Snappy Bakes. That was like a two paragraphs. But they also took P. Mooney, this puppet. That's right. A cartel in Russia took P. Mooney, my kindergarten puppet. We now have to go to Russia and we have to get him back. All right. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Here we go. This is the real deal. 
I am a wonder, I am we, I am known as P. Mooney. What am I like? Just look and see. I have no eyes, P. Mooney. It's a good song. I just messed with the lyrics a little bit. I apologize in advance. Let's just keep going, though. All we're trying to do is just kill some of these bastards that took our kindergarten hand puppet, P. Mooney. Now we got a rocket launcher. Ho, 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 ho. I'm waking up. I know what I gotta do. I just gotta keep fucking stabbing people in the nuts for Uncle Sam and Joe Biden. And we'll be alright. What am I like? Fucking look into these eyes. Here we go. I need another rocket launcher. This one's running out of rockets. That was close. Come on. No fear. Oh, what a move. What a move right there. That was the Matrix. <sighs> that was the Matrix right there. I should have been dead. You should be looking at a dead agent. But I'm alive. Here. To stab more people in the nuts. I think we're getting to the end of level one for Russian attack. Fuck yeah, look at all those missiles pointed right at the USA. Those monsters are gonna blow us up tonight. If I didn't stab everybody in the nuts, look at all those missile silos. And you know where they're pointed at? The mountains of Colorado. F fucking monsters. Oh, oh <laughs> God. I got caught up in dancing with them. They're murderers. Why would I want to dance with murderers? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it the real way this time, right guys? Let's not fuck around. Alright, let's show them what me and my loyalists are all about. Look at all those missiles pointed at the Colorado rocks. Ugh, now I don't even have any rockets to fight these end bosses. But am I panicking? No. You see that move I just pulled off? There's more in the well. Don't worry about it. Here we go. I'm a fucking beast. I'm a fucking... Oh! Oh, God. I gotta start over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Come on. Come on, Rops. This, they took P. Mooney. They I took this puppet, wonder, Rob. Come on. All right. Here we go. These sons of bitches. They took They took P. Mooney. I have the turbo buttons. I've been using them. I'm just a loser, Daddy-O. All right? Showing my hand. I have the turbo button. C4. I'm losing. That's all there is to it. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Son of a bitch. I gotta just stab in the nuts, and I can't focus on anything else. I'm serious right now. I'm being distracted, and I'm just trying to play a simple game. And I could show you guys, I could show you guys such amazing shit in this game. You wouldn't even believe it. You'd like spend the rest of the week just shitting yourself crazy, thinking about what amazing stuff you saw in Russian Attack, thanks to Bob Batillo. And maybe I'll show you still. <clears throat> But we gotta have a positive energy. If there's one bad seed amongst the flock right now in the chat room, everything can go to hell. Oh shit! Ah, I tried to put up my other cow ear. I deserve to die there. That was a fashion death. I'm gonna go at it one more time. I want all my lives. Come on, Rob. They took P. Mooney. Don't worry about your cow ears. Worry about P. Mooney, this puppet. They stole. They stole this puppet. I'm ready. I'm ready. No more fucking around. All right, here we go. They took P. Mooney. They took P. Mooney part two. I'm turning up the music. I was smart enough to pause. Here we go. Turning down the link music. All right, here we go. Come on. They took P. Mooney. I'm using the turbo buttons, dude. I'm using them. I cheat every game. You know me. Don't you? Maybe not. I don't know. Multiple personalities. 
kind of change moods after streams. All right, we got a rocket launcher though. Kicking ass right now, ignoring the outside noise and just focusing on a simple video game I played as a child in Danvers, Massachusetts, otherwise known as Old Salem Village, where they did shitty shit to the witches back in 1692 and then changed the name to Old Salem Village to Danvers. All right, kicking ass right now. <sighs> Gotta lock and load. These sons of bitches, they took a hand puppet named P. Mooney. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. And we gotta get that hand puppet back. That's right. That's right. P. Mooney. We gotta get P. Mooney back, people. He was our friend. He was the only hand puppet that made any sense in this godforsaken territory. Look at all those missiles. They're all aimed at Mount Washington. They're gonna take out Mount Washington unless we stop them and save P. fucking Mooney. All right, come on. I just want my puppet back. All right, all right, shit. Shit, they stopped the game. We're gonna fight a boss. Or we're gonna shoot this rocket launcher and just watch. And maybe we're gonna shoot it again and watch them die. Oh shit, two survived. Two die by knife! Yeah! All right. We did it, guys. We cleared round one for P. Mooney. They took this puppet, and they're gonna pay the ultimate price today. Their only weakness, being stabbed in the dick. This is a tough round, though. I gotta concentrate. So don't try to get too wordy in the chat room, if you know what I mean. Even winking almost cost me my life. Because <laughs> I overthought it. Here we go. Just trying to stab people in the dick. Because that's what they taught me during Hell Week as a Navy SEAL. Down in San Mateo, they trained us. They put us into a kiddie pool at a Holiday Inn. And they're like, we're going to teach you how to stab people in the dick and underwater demolition. I learned one out of the two. I know that. Oh, he almost shot me in the ankle. That was a warning shot from Lee Harvey. We got to keep running, people. Lee Harvey shooting. Here we go. A lot of sick moves right now. This is what they taught me during Hell Week. Ah, oh, that was a lot of sick moves. Don't sleep on me playing Russian attack. Here we go. Now I know some of their moves. Now they know some of my moves. Stab them in the dick. Yeah, check. Hand to hand combat, check. No one's gonna beat Bobby Patillo, except a rifle from a guy at a higher ground. That could do it. I, I'm not going to argue. Ah, oh, oh, sick moves. Sick moves. Oh, almost did it. Whew. This is the toughest part of Russian attack. No give on either side. But we got to know that the enemy, the enemy's as scared as we are. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Here we go. Okay, it's this rifle guy up here that bothers me. Oh, God. Here we go. Here he goes. He's shooting. Oh, oh, I thought I stabbed him. All right, second to last life. This is a tough game. I'm sweating. My legs are sweating. This cow outfit. Everything. It's tense. I gotta, I gotta remember when I did good. I gotta remember momentum. Positive emojis right now, people. I'll keep the stabbing to the nuts up. Don't worry about that. But I need... Oh, that bullet! That bullet missed me! My god, it was like the Matrix. That bullet missed me. That's my chance. Oh, I did it! I did it that time! Oh, that felt so good. Oh! Oh my god! Moves that you never thought you could imagine! Jesus Christ, I'm God! Here we go! Here we go! Locked and loaded for the army. Wow, sick moves! If you want to ride, you ride the white pony. There we go. That's coded message. My nose is itching. My body's sabotaging me. I'm on a hell of a run. Come on, Rob. Come on. Oh, oh the two bullets at once, like Kennedy there. There was no chance. 
Oh, did we make any progress? Yes, we did. They moved us deeper down the front lines. Oh, yeah, they did. Duck! Oh, what moves? What moves? What a... Oh, I couldn't jump in time. I couldn't jump in time. Hell of a game. They can't take that away from us. We did really good on Russian attack. We didn't save this puppet. We didn't save P. Mooney. But maybe the real lives we saved were the friends we made along the way. Sign up for the Discord. I got a couple minutes left if you have any weird questions. Do you want to ask a weird question? In you can go sun, on the YouTube. In the sun, Don't forget to go on the YouTube. In the sun. I'm going to go down like a warrior and play one more game. <sighs> We've had some good, good gaming tonight. We, 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 we learned a little bit about ourselves. What advice do we have for the small-time streamers? I am a small-time streamer. I'm one of the smallest they are. I would just say don't ever give up. Like last weekend, I was in a real bad mood and I deleted the Discord. That's right. This Discord, I deleted it. But I'm back. And I would say the best thing for a new streamer is you don't give up. You're going to be excited those first two weeks when you see three of your friends on a stream and then you're going to want to give up because they stop watching. And it's all about finding your own stream. What does the stream really mean to you? All right? Don't worry about who's going to watch or not. They're trapped in their own fucking nightmares. We know that, people. It's about trying to figure out what stream is right for you. Do you want to talk about your dad being an asshole and your artistic friends undermining you because they were bored rich kids? Do a stream about that. But just make sure it's something that's resounding. You know? Don't just fuck around up here. Try to help people. You know? Teach people a new magic trick if you're going to do a stream. There's magic in the world. All right. We're going to play Paperboy. We're going to throw some of these papers out there. Don't ever stop being creative. Being creative is... It's another skill set, just like being a businessman, an athlete, a politician. Being creative will allow you to meet the people of your dreams, to create magic where otherwise there was cat shit. I wanted to end it all Saturday. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I didn't even do anything, but I wanted to. I wanted to. I sat in bed. I listened to Elliot Smith. I watched the JFK assassination a hundred times Saturday. Oh, I finally figured it out. I wanted to end it, but I didn't. I didn't. This morning I woke up and I said, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to get back on the stream horse. I'm going to be creative again. I'm going to inspire my friends. I'm going to try to not ignore them when I'm sad. I ignore my friends sometimes. They'll send me like a hundred messages on a Saturday night through Facebook DM. And I'll be in the corner, shaking, sucking on my thumb, being like, the world doesn't like me anymore. Nobody cares. And I just got to get back on the horse. And that's what, that's what this is right now. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, Katie. We were high. We were having fun. You sent me that Lana Del Rey song we used to listen to in the EMF building. Sent me some Ju <clears throat> Jimi Hendrix. We were gods. We had fun. Don't ever regret that. I was just trying to make you laugh. I wasn't trying to shame you. Please. You were the only person who messaged me Saturday night. Nobody messaged me. Nobody said hello. I sat in a corner after one person watched my stream and that one person asked, why am I not doing other videos instead of the stream? And I cried afterwards. And Katie, you reached out. You were the only one. You were like, did you delete the Discord? Well, maybe you should listen to this Lana Del Rey song. You know, it was beautiful. But anyways, if you're gonna do a stream, 
you gotta fight fear and you gotta just go at it there's so many people they pro procrastinate you know they they're gonna do that stream sooner or later they're gonna do that artistic project sooner or later oh I'm gonna do a band I just bought a guitar from Guitar Center and they're frozen in fucking time you gotta fight your fear your fear is a comfortable person that's afraid of trying new things because your friends are going to judge you for looking like you don't know what you're doing for a week. Who gives a shit? Everybody's trapped in their own nightmares. Everybody's trapped in their own fucking nightmares. They're all, we're all going to die. We all get fucked in the end. And they're trying to act like they know something we don't know just because they're afraid to do a Twitch stream or, or record a song. You know, daddy -O thought he was kicked out of Twitch too. That's what everybody said at the beginning of this stream. No, I deleted it. I deleted it. I was depressed. Nobody was watching my stream Saturday night. You can go see it. It's still up. You can watch the moment I crack Saturday night. Make clips of it. You know, you can make clips on Twitch. And I notice a lot of people don't make clips of my clips, which is fine. I'm not judging you. I ain't mad at you. But everybody's trapped in their own paperboy nightmare. Shindig. 30-30. All right, let's do this. Let's show these fuckers we mean business. Real road dogs. Let's finish this off on a high note. These guys fucked my cat. You know, you take your time doing a stream. After a while, you'll figure out what nonsense you want to say to people. And it's good. Being creative, there's nothing holier. It will attract other cool people to your lives. Like, look at all you guys. I got 10 close friends right now just watching and learning and, and laughing. And I'm learning too. And I'm laughing sometimes. And I'm mostly crying on the inside. But don't worry about that. There's mostly laughter on the outside. Especially around you guys. Especially when I'm gaming. Being creative. And talking about creative. And I love you guys for giving me that opportunity. I couldn't do it without you. I tried Saturday night. It didn't work. <sighs> oh, I don't want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. Positive vibes. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the positive vibes. And if you don't take anything more away from this, then make your own stream. It's not that bad. Even if you get one person, you're not going to rage delete a Discord like I did. You can't be any crazier than me. You know? <laughs> Snappy Bakes was scream crying for a moment. <laughs> That's beautiful. But I mean, seriously. Oh, could Burl Dad did rage delete a Discord, but you didn't do it after having one person watch you on a Saturday night Twitch. I was all excited. I put my face paint on Saturday night. I put on my cow outfit that smells like a bad Italian sub. And I was ready to entertain or inspire any friends I had, which was one. Which was fine. I just wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready for that one person. And I cried. And then I looked at the Discord. And I was like, what are you smiling at, you Discord? I'll give you something to smile at. I'm going to delete you. That's right, people. And I deleted the Discord. I should be delivering papers, but I'm going to put up the link to the Discord instead. <laughs> Fuck this paper route. I don't care if I have a job. I'm on Twitch. I'm playing the 13 people on Twitch. You think I'm worried about gainful employment as a paper boy? Fuck the paper boys coming straight from the underground. A young brother is down to get down. All right, here we go. Picking up more papers. I haven't delivered to one house yet. But don't be afraid of being creative. We're going to come out of this era where we're all hiding in our houses. Watching all this madness play out on CNN and the television and Fox and Twitter. And we're going to wonder... Is there anything I can do in this world that's going to make me any excited, any more excited, get me going, get me up? And creative does that. You're never, 
you, you, you're never out of the fucking game if you can still create. Remember, it's free to create. The only thing you're fighting is fear. You're afraid to do your own Twitch stream. Oh, nobody's going to watch it. Well, it can't be any worse than me. I deleted my Discord Saturday night because I thought no one cared. I was about to delete this Twitch. It was a little bit harder to delete the Twitch, though. Art is resistance. Art is spiritual. I've had more spiritual moments doing this creative stuff, talking to people and waxing creative with people. Whether it's painting, whether it's video gaming. Who? Wow. Could Burl Dad's gifting tier one subs to the community. That's amazing. Graveside Dave just got subbed. Thank you, could Burl Dad. I'm going to show you my cat red. That's for you. But seriously, the only thing people in contemporary America are really worried about with creative is their own failures in front of their friends. <laughs> you know, they're worried about putting a video up on Facebook of them Twitch streaming and only two people liking it. I did that last week. I didn't get a lot of likes. A lot of my friends hate that I'm twitching. They hate it. They want me to be quiet in the corner like I was Saturday night. Looking at my fucking wrists, thinking about China, crying. No. Bullshit. I didn't come from money or power or beauty or anything, but I did come from being creative when I was depressed. And that's what you gotta try. And the only thing that's holding you back is fear. Like, who gives a shit? Even if you do a good one, no one's going to really notice right off the bat. So fuck up. Do a Twitch stream and fuck up a little bit. Nobody cares. Either way. You're going to be all excited about it. Like, oh my god, I did my first Twitch stream. I can't believe it. And nobody's going to fucking care except two friends. Two. You know? But it's not about those two people even. It's about just getting comfortable doing this shit. Learning the stupid knobs. How to move your picture around the screen. How to make the chat the right size or no chat at all. <laughs> Maybe no chat. It's going to be up to you, you know. And it gives you something to do rather than thinking about your exes. Then going on your their Facebooks and then letting something brew up inside you. When you're looking at your ex's Facebook and you're like, oh, he's having so much fun now. He just got a hundred like photo on Facebook. I'm angry. I'm going to shit post on him or one of his friends and all that stupid energy. You could have been creative. You could have been fighting against fears. You think it's comfortable for me to get on this thing? It's not at all. I don't like talking in my bedroom for two hours. It's fucking a hundred degrees because of the lights. The cat hates me, but I like connecting with people. I like connecting with you guys. And if you guys are thinking about doing a Twitch or you're thinking about being creative, you should really dive in because listen, I'm going to say it again. Nobody gives a shit. All right. So nobody's going to give a shit if you do good and nobody's going to give a shit if you do bad. So just do it for you. You know, just do it for yourself. You know, you know how you want to sound. You know how you want to look. You know how you want your fucking great book to be. Your your music. It's trial and error, though. That's what it is. You got to fucking screw up before you drink from the cup. But that's the curse of a lot of the hipsters out there. You guys don't want to look bad in front of anybody. You don't want to fuck up. You know, you, you, you just want to look like... You're always the expert. You're never the loser. But art, you're going to have to fuck up. You're going to have to play to a room with two people if you're a musician. You're going to have to share a photo you thought was really inspirational you took of the pond and get one like on Instagram. And you're going to want to quit. You're going to want to quit your Discord and delete it. You're going to want to change your name on Facebook. You're going to want to shit post on Facebook and get banned for 30 days. But don't. You can be cre- Oh, son of a bitch, that fucking person every time. 
You can be a creative juggernaut. And, and I'll send people over to your channel. If you start a new channel because of this channel, I'll finally do some raids. We'll raid your channel. We'll go over to your channel and, and I'll make it awkward on your channel just like you make it awkward on mine. We'll do that for each other. Yeah, we'll do raids. I mean, if any of you guys were running like a show that I cared about because you guys are friends, I, I would do a raid for you guys. Let's all go over to Snappy Bakes. <laughs> you can be a creative juggalo. You can be a hero just for one day. You can be a warrior. And this war, you don't even have to fight anybody. You just have to fight fear and, and, and your own laziness. Stop getting drunk every night. Stop fucking getting drunk and watching Encino Man every night. Start making streams. Start making memes. Just start being creative. Don't sit on the sidelines. We're not going to give you another chance after this life to be creative, all right? We'll let you go to heaven. And maybe you can uh, believe you're still creative. But if you weren't creative from the start, you ain't getting on the roller coaster. So when you get off the stream tonight, I want you to post a video of you saying a funny joke on Facebook. I want you on Instagram posting a picture of you in the bikini, but you're quoting Bukowski or doing something creative. I don't know. But, you know, just try to don't be afraid. Especially with stand-up comedy. I mean, Snappy Bakes, I remember I brought you to your first stand-up comedy show. And I mean, that shit is not easy. It's not easy to go into a room where there's 15 other comedians that aren't looking forward to seeing you. And even if they like your jokes, they're just going to steal them. You know? But you do it because if you try anything creative, even if you fail... It evolves you. You'll speak more certain because you're not afraid to look bad in front of people anymore because you already have. You fight those demons. You know? I mean, there's been times where I've played to a room of people heckling me in big venues in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They wanted to hear my old stuff with Robbie Road Steamer. Because I used to do a metal band in Boston Ladies with this guy, Robbie Roadsteamer. Two pumps. I used to do shows as him. This first song is called I Put a Baby in You. It's about my girlfriend. And so then I tried to do shows as me and people would heckle me. They would heckle. They would heckle. They make fun of me. They wanted me to play my Robbie Road Steamer shit. And it hurt. Oh, man. They stopped showing up to shows I did. Close friends. Close friends around Massachusetts stopped showing up to shows. Oof. But I started over, you know? And I, st you know, you can't be afraid, you know? You're going to fuck up. You're going to have two people support your art. And you're going to want to quit. And you're going to get back on that dirty horse. you got to get right back on. And Katie Baker, we went to that first comedy show of yours at the Middle East Corner back in 2015. And you never stopped after that. April of 2015. And I saw her when I moved to California, all the shows you did at the Middle East Corner and then gas and whatnot. And you got to know all those comedians in the scene and you started making cartoons of everybody. And I was so proud. I was like, holy crap, Snappy Bakes is kicking ass. She's doing comedy and she didn't get off the horse. And you already won, you know? I mean, the accolades, all the shit afterwards, that's the pad of resume, man, but... You already won by just getting in the ring that night, man. You know, you didn't give up. A lot of people, they'll do only one comedy show. And they'll spend the rest of their life at a bar talking about, Oh, I would have done more, but the audience was weird that night. Or my jokes didn't work. Katie, you got right back on the fucking boat. You got right back on the horse. You got right back on it. And now... You have a bunch of fans in the comedy scene up in Boston, New England. And if you want to be braver, you know there's braver waters for you. Or if you want to be comfortable, 
you know you'll be stuck in time forever. Art's like video games, people. If you want to stay at the first village after you beat the first dragon for the rest of your life and have everybody kiss your ass in the village, you can. And if you want to take more creative chances, like putting everything into a backpack and moving away with China in the middle of the night in an SUV across country from Massachusetts to Boston, you can do that too. It's all about fighting fear. It's all about taking chances. And the friends you meet along the way, it's all about that community. It really is. I mean, that's what's beautiful about art. People think it's just a matter of getting better at something. It's about all the psychological shit. Battling your own insecurities. I mean, man, I wish I could get stoned as fuck and sit in bed and snort rails and drink and not have to figure out how to put on a Twitch stream or whether or not my cable's working, my internet, or if I got enough sound or if I'm actually going to do good at this game and if somebody's going to troll the chat room or, or talk shit about China. You know, there's a lot of things to worry about, but I'd rather be worrying about those things and dwelling upon my depression and thinking dark thoughts you guys are absolutely incredible I don't know how many papers I delivered let's watch uh, we got like four customers left all right let's do this Tuesday and I hope some of you guys start streams don't be afraid of hearing your own voice or watching yourself fuck up play video games. Screw the customers and their papers. You know? It's not about these video games. I'm not trying to speed run any of them. I just want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about art. Depression. Your sanity. You know? Who cares if I deliver another paper? Are you keeping score at home? Are you going to tell your friends tomorrow? Gee, Rob was really good at delivering fucking papers on a 30-year-old game. That really made me feel better about my own life. But it's all about trying to figure out, especially right now in, dem in this country right now, how to be creative, how to connect with people still in meaningful ways. And there's nothing more meaningful than these video games. Some of the biggest deals that were ever made in this country were done over video games. Whether it's the most elite politicians or 10-year-olds, video games sealed the deal. They're spiritual. One day we'll open up a college where we just focus on the spirituality of video games. If you played video games a lot when you were a kid, you can see people faster at bars at work you can avoid people quicker at reunions video games can teach you so many so many magical things or they can eat up a lot of time where otherwise you are gonna be depressed and that's why it's meaning oh that fucking dog I have a runny nose. Don't judge me and stuff because I, I just used a sock. I, I, I didn't. I usually have everything I need right beside me so I can have a quality feed and whatnot. And you know what? I dropped the ball and I didn't have. So a sock had to go down. I want to play one more game. You guys are having fun. We're having fun. Take some cheese. We're going to play elevator action. Daddy-O learned English with video games. Video games are spiritual, man. Video games will change your whole life. So will creative. Two beautiful things that come together. This is a great one. Elevator action. I was so jealous when my friend got this. I went over his house. I was 11 years old. I was fucking bitter. I was angry. Oh, I wanted this to be in my house. Okay, we gotta go in the red doors, and we gotta shoot the other secret agents. That's all we have to do, and just get down to the bottom of this building. It's not hard. It's not like the game of life. That's the hardest game. 
People think life's just a ride. It's a fucking game. And it depends where you were born and how much you have at the beginning of the game that you can win. Some people are born with bigger bigger characters in general and more resources. All right, we got to get in that red door. A lot of violence right now. Don't judge me. Don't judge your dad. Don't judge how your dad makes money. All right, I got to get the secret code. All right. Oh, nice. All right. We gotta go in the red doors and we gotta get the secret briefcases. I gotta get down- Oh, the escalator I did right in time. I killed him too. Alright. Snappy Bakes is putting her boots on. Nice. I hope I read that right. Some guy just tried to shoot me. I'm trying to read and look and be cool at the same time. Here we go. Here we go. Jump. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. I gotta wait for the elevator. I gotta get in that red door. And I gotta get the secret briefcase. Hold on. Here we go. It's the little things. Oh! Oh, he shot me because he was ducking. Shit. Alright. We gotta go in those red doors and we gotta get the secret briefcase. Here we go, here we go. Ugh, it's hard to get in the doors. I mean, this is 1988, so it's not the easiest function. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, I got the secret briefcase. I gotta get down to the bottom. We gotta get... Oh, he sh I didn't see him. I didn't see him behind me. Alright, we gotta get all the good packages from the red doors. That's our secret mission. Alright, see another red door. Shit, shit, I'm gonna get shot. Alright, shot him. <sighs> Keep your eyes peeled for agents and warn me in the chat room and I'll try to see them in real time in the chat room and shoot them. Oh, shit, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh! <clears throat> I'm into this game, though. You can't keep a shitty man down. We're playing again. Okay, remember. We gotta go down. We gotta go down the screen. Nova Zulu in the house. I'm gonna make your badge bigger so people recognize you're in the house. Alright, we gotta get the packages in the red doors. Those are the good packages. So be cool with me. Here we go. We're going down the elevator. When you see a red door, yell. Yell it out in the chat room. All right, be a friend for once. You can be a real friend, you can help me. I can be a friend for you too. I can wash your asshole, but you gotta tell me where, okay, there's a red door, I saw it myself. I thought you were gonna be a real friend for me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red door, thank you, crew and girl dad. It was a lot of effort just to see you saying that instead of seeing the red door. Okay, okay, I got the good package. I got the good package from the red door. Here we go. Now I gotta go down these escalators. It's a lot harder than it looks, people. It's a lot harder than it looks. Oh, shit. I'm going back up. I did not mean to do that. See? It's hard. It's 1988 controls. Fuck. Come on. Lock in, Robert. Okay, I got... Th there's another red door. Can I cut across? Can I... Oh, no. There's a wall. There's a wall. Okay, I gotta wait for the elevator, and I gotta get the good package from the red door. You don't have to apologize, Snappy Bakes. I'm gonna try to get the good package from the door. Fuck! Oh, they're coming. Oh, shit. Okay, okay I got the good package. We're almost at the bottom of the uh, whole building, and if we do, we officially beat elevator action. Oh, he shot me when I shot him. But we got the good package. All right, we gotta go down the elevator. Oh, the doors are getting dark. Oh, there's a red door. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. And we gotta get the good package. Here we go. Come on, come on, red door. Get up here. Get up here, get up. Okay, there's the red door. Okay, thank you, Could Burl Dad. Could Burl Dad figured out that there was a red door. So we're gonna go in it now. We're gonna get the good package. All right, doing good, a lot of momentum. Let's get down to the next floor. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder if anybody's getting on this elevator. Can you see? Oh, okay. We're almost down, we're almost down at the very bottom. This could be a huge achievement for us. And we did it clean, but we gotta get that, that, that red door. Oh, could burl dad, good observation. There was a red door you saw, very important. Cheeky girl, got him. Thank you. 
All right, let's get down to that. Oh, 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 that was a good gunfight. Okay, got to get the good package. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We got the good package. Red door. I saw it. I saw it. Get out, get out. Okay, shoot him. Rob Patillo says, happy Easter, fuckface. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rob Patillo says, happy Easter, fuckface. Oh, I know that wasn't original, but... I was in the middle of a massive gunfight, so just let me... Okay, we gotta get the ninth floor. Red door, red door. Thank you, Good Barrel Dad. Fuck you, that's my red door. I need the good package. Where's the good package? Right, open the door, open the door. Nice. <sighs> Only eight floors left. Get out, get out. Oh, what a move, what a move. Exceptional, exceptional moves. You're watching an all-star legend in his prime. Okay, let's go down. Oh my god, we're almost at the bottom. We could beat this game. What a way to end the night. What a morally uplifting... Oh god. It's like when the Red Sox won the World Series after the marathon bombing. If I may... Where's the elevator? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you watching this? Where's my elevator? Oh my fucking head. This game is like god. Oh, great. Waiting for the elevator, I get killed. Is that... Okay, okay. Okay, not dead yet. Get down the elevator. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right after the marathon bombing. The Boston Red Sox. Here we go, I could beat it! Oh! Oh my god. This is for the Boston Red Sox. Why, why is this for the Boston Red Sox? I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god, elevator. Oh god. <laughs> Yes! 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 <laughs> we did it! Ah, oh. That was incredible! We did it together! Whew. Pretty much beat the game. We beat the game. I mean, we just have to rinse and repeat, but we beat elevator action, people. And that was all you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's the third game we beat tonight. We beat Joust. We beat Elevator Action. And I think we beat Castlevania or some shit. Something like that. Oh, thank you, Good Girl Dad. Always looking for those red doors. We got the good package. Let's see if we can beat another building. Call it a night. Here we go. I'm gonna ride this life out. I think technically we beat Double Dragon too. All right, keep going, keep going. Oh no, no, go the other way, Needle Dick. Fucking Christ! These escalators—they're as bad as the elevators. It's a miracle I beat this game, which I did. I did beat the game. You're... Yes. Basically, you can't go any further than seeing that sports car take off. All right. Red door. I see it. I'm gonna go in the red door. I'm gonna get the good package. Here, I'm getting the good package. Okay, going in. Fuck yeah. Okay, another agent's coming. He's gonna get a good one-liner from me. Robotillo says, Happy Easter, cocksucker. All right, gotta keep going down. Red door, red door. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh I got hit in the back of the... <coughs> Oh, I felt it, and that was it. That was a good run. We'll play elevator action next time, maybe Wednesday night. I'm gonna get off. We've had a crazy night. The cat's sleeping. There's been a lot of magic. Please visit the Discord. I'm gonna be there in one second. I love you guys. This was a magical night. I never can finish on a high note, so... Dog balls.